Leon, just want to look back to the games against the Grand Rapids Griffins. I mean, uh, you come up with three very valuable points for your team, keep the point streak going. What is it that this team is doing to just keep on fighting? Um, yeah, I don't. I think this whole road trip has been really good for us. Um, obviously, I wasn't there for most of it, but uh, I watched every game and I saw the guys were just battling. Like those games in Texas were some hard games, and in Milwaukee too. And I think it's just what we've been doing all year. We we keep it kind of simple. We stay. We stuck to our plan, and it doesn't matter who's in the lineup. Whoever gets in uh, does what he has to do, does his job, and that's what makes us successful right now. I mean, that second game in Grand Rapids, you, you got up over 30 minutes, a ton of PK time, lots of time in the overtime. How were the legs feeling after that one? Um, yeah, well, I definitely need an ice bath after that. Um, no, but uh, yeah, it felt, felt good to be back. Obviously, the first period in the first game was a little, felt a little rusty and um, like my legs weren't as great as they're usually. But um, I think the second game, I felt way better already. Like uh, my, my cardio got way better during the games. And then, yeah, I played a lot of minutes. And but that's what I love. That's what I used to do in junior. And um, that's how I play the best, I feel like. And uh, it was awesome games and it was fun for sure. What's it mean to you to be relied on by this coaching staff to, to do something like that, to log so many minutes? Yeah, it feels good obviously when you uh, when you play a lot of minutes, it means the coach has confidence in you and uh, I think I've proven in the last three seasons that I can play on this level and I can play big minutes in this league and um, I'm obviously happy every time he says my name and I'm allowed to go on the ice. I want to go back to that third period in the second game because uh, you, you guys got into a tough spot with the penalties, but it seemed like even after they scored that five on three goal, it kind of galvanized you and the team really picked up the play after that. Yeah, I mean, uh, we weren't happy with the, with the decisions the refs were making out there. Obviously, um, it was, yeah, I don't know. I'm not going to say too much about that, but um, yeah, we... I think after uh, Mo got kicked out, we all came even a little closer together and we were like, now we want to show them that we deserve to win here and uh, just show them they they, uh, they can't break us with all these uh, calls, all these five on threes, the penalties in overtime, everything. And uh, I think it just got us together. We sticked with it and we wanted to win for each other and uh, it worked out really well uh, at the end. Now, as you mentioned, you did miss a few of the games of this road swing. I mean, you, you find out you're not going to be playing just before that Texas series. So how tough was it to, to be one of the guys on the shelf and watching this team play through those three games and not being able to help out? Yeah, um, obviously, especially the way it's going this year, you want to play every game. It's been it's been fun playing with this group this year, and uh, we've been winning a lot of games so far. So it's obviously tough when you uh, know you you're out for going to be out, and you're going to miss at least three games. Uh, it's obviously tough watching it, but uh, yeah, I was happy the boys. Uh, picked it up so well. All the players that came in uh, from everywhere, they did a great job and uh, they, uh, they worked their ass off and I'm just happy they won all those games.